welcome back to another video. It is your boy Mouse. You're gonna be cutting a little bit more out these uh, molds and the doors itself because we need to actually countersink the rings so we can get our speaker ring to fit how we want it to. This specific ring, we actually need to have it at an angle. So as you can see, we need to cut a majority of that mold out and the door because I actually want this ring to actually sit countersunk. You see what I'm saying? So we actually need to be able to bring it a little bit so it'll clear the seat once it gets shut. So by the end of the video, man, we will be all cut up, ready to rock and roll so we can mount rings. After doing a lot of cutting and then some more cutting and then a little bit more cutting we finally got enough clearance for the tents to fit in the door and consider these guys got a big old magnet compared to those other needles that we are doing for the other set of door panels and these are a little more heavier too this is what we got so far man I had to just go to town and just cut a lot of the metal out it barely clears by a baby hair this is just like a rough draft of what it may look like uh, if you look at it from the side you see it has like a different angle on this one and then a different angle on that one and then obviously this one is gonna be kicked out just a little bit see what I'm saying maybe kicked out a little bit so I really think this is what it's gonna be and doing these specific speakers on this door panel is I literally got to do one ring at a time you know it's not you know a thing like okay i can really make it work because that's not even the case i gotta like set it in place a little bit like baby tack it be able to close the door and make sure the door closes then you know really uh glue her in place and we are going to be using our glue that we actually used for yesterday's video on the fleece on the door panel so they like hold on really good and instantly doing these with hot glue i don't even think that's going to work I mean, it can work, and we will probably use it to, you know, glue from the back of it. But to actually set it in place, um, immediately we're going to have to use that glue that we did yesterday. Now, remember, we actually had a hole there for a horn and a hole there for a horn as well. But, man, we're just going to have to improvise. Uh, obviously, we got some clearance right here. I am going to talk to my boy and then probably see if we can make a nice little panel right here for some horns. Uh, but I am going to do like an L shape. So it's just not a block of square, you know, a the SpongeBob looking panel. I'm going to make it look really nice so it looks, you know, to fit the truck. And then obviously like um, countersink it to where it's just like when you look at it from the side, it like rounds over into it and not, you know, a square like this in it. You know what a lot of people tend to do. I'm going to show you how much clearance we got to work with. I'm going to shut this door very carefully without moving the rings. The speaker, as long as it fits inside there, we're good. I don't have to worry about the the front face of the speaker touching any parts of the door because they're countersunk inside there we just need this top lip to clear all right let's get it it, it clears a lot that one clears and then this one you see the only part of the door is that part but with those cutting inside the door and somewhat countersink in the ring man that one's gonna clear you see it definitely clears. It barely clears by like a paper, but it clears. And that's why it's critical to actually mount the ring to where the lip barely sits on it. You see what I'm saying? It sits on that. So anything past that, it would not clear. But when it's staying inside that lip, it's definitely going to clear. Same thing with this right here. You know, when it's staying, staying inside there, it'll clear. You see what I'm saying? If we stay inside there, it clears. But anything else, it would never clear, guys. Squeezing 310s in a Ford F-150 like this one, it is a pain, but it's doable. 
You just have to really like think about it and it will work. It will work. Don't let nothing scare you. I'm not scared of cutting no door. You obviously seen it. But look at this. Uh, this one I'm not really worried about it because we could just put like a half inch uh, stands on it and that speaker will clear, clear. We have a lot of, you know, clearance right here in this area. Same thing with the horn. The horn's definitely going to clear. But it would probably be impossible to put those three, those two other horns on the door panel. That's why I'm going to suggest to do the horns. Okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and start cutting the other door panel up, man. I'm not even scared. Uh, this door panel is ready to get cut up like that one. And it's gonna probably take me like another like hour and a half to get everything cut out and like we just did that one but i'm not gonna go ahead and record that for you guys and give you double the action you see what i'm saying i think you guys already had enough and seeing me chop this guy up and man that door panel it is you know cut up and it's ready for some speakers if you guys get this video up to like 100 likes i'll do a unboxing video of everything everything what's going on um, with the new sound system that we'll be doing in like three weeks. This is gonna be loud and it's gonna be crazy So definitely stay tuned get this video up to a hundred likes and I'll drop the unboxing video and Hope you guys enjoy your today your day today Man, your boys gonna get back to cutting and I will catch you on the next one. Peace